only 74 points first half and uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we gave up, you know, to your point, two 37 point quarters in the first half. Uh, our lack of rebounding tonight was, was alarming. Yeah, it rebounded us uh, 54 to 33 with 14 offensive rebounds for 20 points. And um, you, you look at the paint points, 58, the second chance, 20, and then 19 in transition, you know, um, you know, Yubi Brown had a, a great line years ago. You know, he's coaching his team in New York, and his team wasn't rebounding. His team wasn't getting back. He called a timeout. He says, where the hell are you? You're not here to rebound. You're not here to get back. That's what I felt like tonight. I felt like Yubi Brown. I don't know where we were. We weren't rebounding, and we weren't back. That means we were just hanging out in no man's land. Um, they were the aggressor from the beginning, had us on our heels. Their bench dominated us. Um, so yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, come Saturday, I believe, I don't even know what date is anymore, but next time we play them in two days, um, uh, we'll come with the requisite fight and competitive spirit, um, to, to go out there and give ourselves a chance on like tonight. Hmm. Oh, that was a huge part of it. I mean, it was unofficially uh, double-digit blow-bys for probably 20-plus points, uh, you know, just sitting down guarding. I mean, whether it's DeJounte Murray, Derek White, but Lonnie Walker off the bench was a real difference maker in this game, attacking us. Uh, and then when a guy did get beat, there was no shrink. There was no help behind it. It was layup after layup. Um, you know, we're not a shot-blocking team, but we can be a great body position team. Uh, we can trap the box. We can use a rule of verticality. We can take a charge. And... Um, you know, they, they had us on our heels, man. That, that's the worst feeling in the world. Uh, we made a couple of runs uh, to try to get back in the game a little bit, but we just couldn't sustain anything. And uh, so to your point, Katie, definitely the inability to guard the ball. That's where your defense starts. And if you can't contain it in the half court, you can't contain it in transition. Um, and then your ball watching when the shot goes up, that's going to make for a long night. Is it frustrating? Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always frustrating when you lose and it's frustrating when you have a team that has just been, as I mentioned, pregame, uh, just like so inconsistent. And it's not just from game to game. It just this road trip is a great example of that's a microcosm of who we are. You win one, you play really well. The next game you play poor basketball. You win one, you play well then you, you don't play well. You win one and you play decent enough to get the win, then you come out the next game. And, and again, I know this is three games and four nights. I know it's a second matter of a back-to-back. Um, but those are the challenges that every team in the NBA faces. It's not just us, the Denver Nuggets. And we, we have to be mentally tough to fight through that and, and not to use that readily available excuse. You know, I, I don't buy into that. And, uh, and, and so tomorrow will be an off day. It'll be a rest day after back-to-back three and four. So hopefully on Saturday we'll – play with energy and effort for as close to 48 minutes and a hell of a lot more minutes than we did tonight. Yeah, I mean, he was uh, nine for 12, seven of eight from the foul line. Everything he did um, from the beginning of the game throughout was to attack. Um, I give him a lot of credit. I know he was getting frustrated with the lack of calls that time. Uh, but he kept on playing. You know, I mean, 25 points, six rebounds, three assists, uh, a really complete game for him. You know, it's just um, we have to get everybody. I mean, our bench was out scored 47 to 28 tonight. Um, so, yeah, I thought Aaron overall was uh, was really good. But, you know, we, we need a collective effort. You know, we, we need everybody firing on all cylinders for us to have a chance with all the players that we have out. Yeah, well, one, I think his shooting has been really what st stands out. I mean, Fakou is shooting the ball lights out. He goes four or six from the three tonight. Um, so that, that's always a bonus when um, you have that kind of productivity from the three-point line. Um, and then you talk about just the hustle, the energy, the fight. 
Um, I knew that I'd probably have to go to my bench earlier than usual just because of the schedule and what we're in the middle of. Um, and when I put him in the game, you know, you know that he's going to go out there and play hard and bring that juice, bring that energy. So, um, yeah, we just need that from everybody. I mean, like, it just can't be limited to one guy. It's starters have responsibility. That guy, guys that come in off the bench have that responsibility. And, um, again, you know, you're not going to beat anybody giving up 123 points, 50 from the field, 15 threes, 20 on the glass, 19 in transition, and 58 in the paint. You know, th this was a uh, – we did nothing well on the defensive end tonight, and that's why we lost.